Hello everybody, in today's bargain of the week is EV Dust 514 on the PlayStation Network. You can find it in What's New on the PSN Store. After the intro, you'll be thrown into a character creation where you choose from four different species. They're pretty much all the same, so don't worry about which one to choose. And you choose your bloodline, so they're all just slight advantage over another one. Your sex, and then your specialty. So this is the most important one of them all. You need to look through them a little bit more than the others, because they play a big role in how well you do on the battlefield. Then you'll be taken to this place called the Neo Keck, where you can find battles, create your own class, and look at the leaderboards. You spend most of your time over in this corner making a class, or at the store. So you can put on armor, all those different things. You can put a assault rifle, snarb rifle, SMG, all those guns, and it's all free. That's the best part. But if you really want to go on this game, you'll have to buy actual Mac pups with real money on the PSN store. They give you great guns, and not for a too expensive price either. There's one on there now called the Mercenary Pack or something, and you get a heavy ass big machine gun with that one, and different stuff. So, so there always is that option to buy that pack if you want to go very well on this game. The first times you play, you will get your ass handed to you because all the other guys will have these massive machine guns and you'll have this puffy thing that shoots out a bunch of shit. So don't worry if you get in your ass whipped. In the first like 10 games you play, you probably need to level up, get some new guns, maybe even buy that pack. So if you were getting owned in the first 10 games, it's not the people, it's your pathetic gun, and you'll notice in this clip how pathetic this gun is. This is the gun you all start off with, and it's just incredibly weak. In this game, there are a few cars and ships you can get in, but there's only about three on the map, and they hardly ever respawn, which is a pain in the ass. But there are cars you can get in every once in a while on different game modes and different maps. There is a class where you can personalize it so you always have a car and I think that's how you actually get the cars, they don't just randomly spawn. You actually put them in on your created class or whatever and you'll have a car when you spawn. You only get about three every match. So you use them wisely. Maybe if you're losing by a bit you'll send one out. So that's how you get the cars. You put them in your created class and you'll be able to spawn three in. So the overview on this game is, it's a great first person shooter with a little slight touch of an MMO. You choose your own race, choose your own bloodline, all that type of stuff that you would do in an MMO. And you can choose your skin. More great things is this game is super fun. All the graphics are great HD, and especially because it's free. It's made by Sony and that just makes it so much better. If you've ever played Halo or Battlefield 3, you can link them to this game very well. All the Battlefield 3 graphics are just like this. Maybe a little better. And this game has a great mixture of fantasy and FPS. to have balanced that out very well, so it's still actionable and you get a little bit of fantasy in it. Some of the downs on this game is that they've made it very hard for beginners and if, you've, if this was your first FPS game you would almost be certain to rage quit from FPS because it's extremely hard this game. But you will get in the hang of it like I did in this game. It's so different from COD. If you've got used to COD you'll have to get used to this game. And also all the snipers only have three or so bullets in them which makes it very hard to shoot. So I hope you enjoyed this little review that I've just whipped up. This game is free on the PlayStation Network and it's only on PlayStation. Thanks for watching, goodbye.